I'm going to do that thing where I can't believe it's the last day. It is the last day. Saturday, the 9th of November 2019, the last day of MB15. This is the Premier Inn in the centre of Exeter. It's just gone up to 20 to 7. I'm popping some junk over to the car park so I don't have to carry it tomorrow. And then I have a feeling that the Costa Coffee that opens at 6.30 will open at 7 o'clock. That's my plan anyway. After that, lots of fine ales and lots of podcasts. Thank you for watching. Well, this is looking different. And of course it's raining and the rain is cold. And we are off. And look at that, an orange tree. This isn't the bad spoons and a nice selection of cast scales. This is half ball Hunter's Brewery, 4% alcohol by volume, a session bitter. Nice and dark. Lots of carpety stuff. Flags in the orangery. It's a bit like Pont Breathe actually, he says. Malty. Sharp and tingly. Quite refreshing actually. In a sort of malty, beery, tingly, gently bit of finish sort of way. B plus in a bit. Three point three. Because point ones. There has been an update to Fairright. So I suppose I better get on with recording another segment. However, this is Wayland Smithy from the White Horse Brewery and it's let me check 4.4% alcohol by volume. No. Copper malt and caramel it says. Well, it's a dark copper colour and it's a nice creamy head. Malty, sweet, a little bit spicy. I'd say caramel. Yeah, B plus, three out of five. It works. Okay, so I've ordered some food. This orangey is the way forward. This is Pandemonium by South Hams Brewing. 5% alcohol by volume. Have food, drink this, suit the hoppiness, collapse in the bacon. Or something like that anyway. Condiments. Ooh, rich. Fruity. Gentle bit of finish, fruitiness in the finish, a little bit of spice there as well, B plus in a bit, 3.3. And I'm back, hoppiness. We seem to be back to Siren Craft Ales. Suspended in lemon drop, hot with a lemon drop, equinot and a mandarina, he says, hopefully. Well, it wouldn't fall in, Mr. Manning. Anyway, 4% alcohol by volume. Hazy. We like hazy. Mmm. <coughs> Fruity. A little bit sharp. A little bit spicy. A little bit peppery. A little bit B++. So B plus plus is 3.5, I'm thinking 3.6. Yeah. Dean Davis. This is complex. So it's modernity from boundary, 8% alcohol the whole world world. Volume. See? Boundary is a cooperative owned by its members. And this is a collab between Cloudwater and Galway Bay Brewing. But it's brewed in Belfast. After all of that, it looks. 
It smells really floral, really wood, and it's a fruit bomb. Fruity, slightly tropical, strong, with a protect alcoholic finish. A minus. Some down at two point zero. I don't really remember that thing. Anyway, um, Patso Brewing Co. Six point eight percent alcohol by volume. New England IPA. It's raining outside. Time fourteen twenty four. Extremely fruity aroma. Fruit bomb. Top of fruity. A little bit strong. Nicely bitter finish. A minus. Three point eight. Neon Raptor, scooting through Alexandria. New England Pale Ale, 3.6% alcohol by volume, just as well because I'm flagging. But I don't like too hard. Maybe 10%. B plus plus. 